hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome and i hope you are doing well so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to prevent the lace from tearing when ventilating the hair using the tiny crochet hook okay so before we start right do you have the right size of the crochet hook do you have it do you have the tiniest one out of the set if you do good but if you do not you need to get the right size of crochet hook for this process okay and uh, if you're not using the right size of the crochet hook it wouldn't matter how gentle you are with the lace or how you handle the lace if you're not using the right size of the crochet hook you're still gonna break the lace if you're not using the right one so so you want to make sure to get the right size of the hook as you can see right here i have different sizes and i have the one i usually use in creating the the um the wigs so right here i have the the big size the medium size uh small size extra small and extra extra small which is the tiniest um the tiniest one out of the set so i went ahead and placed them on top of the lace to give you a clear idea or clear view on how they look on top of the lace as you can see right here the tiniest one out of the set is also a bit a bit bigger than the hole on the lace so the purpose of this video is to show you how to use the tiny crochet hook on the lace without tearing it without breaking it so how to prevent that from happening okay so now that i've you know said all of that let's jump right into the video so that way i can show you guys how you can do it And for the lace, I'm using a uh, Swiss lace for wig making. And uh, the link to everything are in the description box down below. So be sure to check the description box. Okay, so now let's move on to the main video. So to start ventilating the hair using the tiny crochet hook, you want to start by opening up the crochet hook and next gently pass it through one hole, okay? gently pass the crochet hook through one hole on the lace okay so next hook two strands or one strand depending on the area you're working on and next close the lash hook and gently pull the hair through the hole once that is done open up the lash hook again hook the hair and pull the hair through the loop so pull on it to tie the knot but before you pull the hair all the way through so for the next step you want to place your finger on top of the lace just like i'm doing in this video okay next go ahead and pull the hair through all the way through so by doing this you're not putting a, a, like extra stress on the lace so you already stretch the 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 lace just by passing the crochet hook through the Hole. so when you pass the crochet hook through the hole that stretches the the hole a little bit so the key here is to not over stretch it to the instant of it breaking so when pulling the hair through through the loop to secure the um the the knot in place you're pulling and you're pulling the lace that also can cause the lace to break if not done properly okay so i'm going to show you one more time doing the same thing open up the lash hook so next gently pass the crochet hook through one hole on the lace okay once that is done take your hair and hook two strands of hair next close the lash hook okay and next pull it pull the hair through the hole gently so next take the lash hook open it up hook uh, hook the hair again and pass it through the loop so this time around before you pull the hair all the way through the loop right so you want to place your finger on top of the lace at the root of the hair to secure that spot in place that way you're not putting too much stress on 
the lace so once you place your finger on top next step pull the hair all the way through the loop so that will secure the knot in place that will tie the knot in place at the same time minimizing the stress you put on the lace so go ahead and practice practice to get the best results you need to practice on a little lace before you start your project right Cut out a little lace, pin into your wig, uh, your wig mannequin, and practice on that. So you want to take your time, practice. If you feel stress, right, take a break, de-stress, and get back to it. I do that all the time. I don't like to rush the projects when it comes to ventilating the hair. If I feel stressed out, if something is annoying me while I'm, you know, ventilating the hair, take a break, go clear my head. If I can get back to it that same day, I get back to it the next day. So take your time, practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. Once you practice, once you have the grip of it, once you know how to do it, you won't even feel the need to place your finger on top of the lace when pulling the hair once you know how to do it the right way. You okay so we've come to the end of today's video i hope you find this video helpful if you do please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also if you're new to my channel and you're not subscribed yet please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and share the video okay with your friends let them know they can learn a lot from this channel <laughs> <laughs> all right everyone thank you all so much for watching thank you all so much for subscribing and uh, i'll see you all in my next one and oh also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that way whenever i post a new video on you will get notified okay thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next one bye